Hey guys, what's going on? It's Matt Trainer for 43. In today's video, I have blog video number 20 here on the PR Keystone. Alright, so since the last time you guys have seen the layout, I've actually done something to it. And it's something that I wasn't originally planning on doing, but one night I was down here and I figured, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And that was, I went ahead and changed my layout back to a double main line with on the inside having some passing sidings. And the reason as to why I did that was because I just, I wasn't happy with the single mainline approach the way I was doing it. Originally, my intent was to have the single main and then have passing sidings to run multiple trains on the same track at the same time. But I just, I wasn't using it. I, I wasn't doing it. I was just running one train around it and it was just honestly very boring. So one night I went ahead and just changed it back. Now it's not complete yet. The inner loop is almost done. I've got a few pieces I have to install, but after that it'll be all ready to go. So I'll go ahead and show you a little bit about it and then we'll move on. All right, so I turned the camera off the tripod and I'll kind of show you what's going on here. So this outside line where this New York Central F, F unit is and this train, it's just a simple loop that goes around the table. You can see, here, there we go. Then this inner loop, it has a switch that can pick any one of these three tracks. Now, this one here where this NW2 is, this is actually gonna be one of two sidings that I have for a passenger station stop. On here, this passenger station from MTH is going to be one of the stops. And then the other one where this switch is, if you throw it where the subway train is, that's going to be another station stop. Actually, it could be one of two because I have this passenger station I can use. And I also have this station here to use. So, be really pretty neat. And then... I have an S-curve back there on the inside loop and that comes along here and then continues on back over here and I stopped back there because I need to finish up moving the outside loop a little bit more to the left and I just haven't done that yet because I need to get some more track for that but then it comes along in here and then I'll finish up these bare spots and then we'll have a fully functioning loop and then back there that brown track that is actually a siding that I have I usually store the subway train on it just because it fits perfectly in here and it looks really good so my original intention and I'm gonna try to keep this as best I can due to some clearance issues which I'll talk about in just a second is to run subways and commuter passenger trains out here so like the subway said I have a Lionel Pennsylvania Reading Seashore E6 that I'm gonna get some pass well, actually I already have passenger cars for it so I'll run that here and then I have some other passenger trains and then the big passenger trains like this uh, California Zephyr here I'll run that on the outside line just because they're a little bit bigger cars these are the 18 inch cars and they hit in a couple spots. The biggest spot they hit is actually right where the engine is. Here they sometimes hit and then right here. Now this I'm gonna rectify. I'm gonna put, if it'll fit, I'm pretty sure I have the room for it. One of those uh, one and three eighth inch straight sections and that should help this so it's not, you know, as butt up against each other as it is. So that'll help that but the subway doesn't care the subway's fine it it'll go through this no problem so that's that's all well and good and that's that so you know I'm really happy with the way it's turning out it just looks really good and it'll look better as time goes on so we'll move on now all right next up I'll go ahead and show you some work I did to some of my buildings the first thing I did on uh, these three buildings here which are three train stores from MTH the one to the left of your screen is a train shop, a four-story building. 
The one in the middle is a custom Legacy Station Eric's Trains building, and then the third is a MTH three-story train store. And the sign I added that did not come with the building, but I went ahead and added it. And what I did was I went ahead and lit the signs. I put a strip of LEDs just before the end of the base, right up top here. And it looks really, really cool. I'm sure you guys can see it really well, but I'll go ahead and shut the lights off in the room so you guys can see it a lot better now. All right, so there you go. I think it looks really, really neat. And it just looks, it adds a lot to it, I think, you know. When I did this, I, I wasn't originally planning on doing this, but actually I converted the first two to the left and the middle of your screen to LEDs a couple weeks ago. And I thought, well, you know what? Why don't I try it? And I did, and I really like it. It looks really neat. So I'll go ahead and bring it up here a little bit. So you can see if I can... You can see there's the LEDs right there. Just the LED strips that I like to use. And there you go. So, then looks really cool. They also did another thing. I'll go ahead and turn the lights on in just a second here, but I went ahead and removed the bases on these buildings, and I'll explain why in just a second. Alright, so if you guys have never seen the bases on these MTH buildings, they look something kind of like this. They have diamond treading on each side, which is supposed to represent a sidewalk. And the building sits in the middle section there with the hole in the screws. And I went ahead and removed the bases on these just because I wanted something that looked a little bit more realistic than the diamond tread. And I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about in just a second. So I just, I feel it's going to look a lot better. And that's what I'm going to do there. Alright, so while we're in the area, I went ahead and wired up another car. And it's this yellow Thunderbird right here. And I went ahead and used a different color LED than I used for the other cars on my layout. I went ahead and used some cool white LEDs. Unlike the pre-wired ones that I used before, these give off a little bit different color. And I'll kind of show you the difference here. If you look at the 57 Chevy right here, I know one of the lights is out, it died. But you can see the difference in the color. The pre-wired ones are more like an incandescent bulb color, which I do like a lot. But, you know, a lot of the cars these days, they're all LED. And they have more of the cool white color. So, I did that for that reason. Now, I've got another car I need to wire up, which is this Beetle right in here. I wired up another one, which it uses the same color. The cool white LEDs right in here. And I think it looks really nice. And I'm not going to do, I'm going to space them out. I'm going to have some with the pre-wired incandescent color bulbs. And I'll have some of these with the cool white bulbs, which I think will look really cool. So, but that's that. All right, lastly over here, I went ahead and wired up this. Now, this here is a MTH Rail King Dr. Pepper Modern Reefer card that I'm, just the shell. I found it under the table. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to make it like a cold drink stand. I'm going to have, you know, a grade crossing come up here and then have, you know, people coming in to get drinks in there. Then I'm going to, along the back, over like in here somewhere, I'm going to put a menu and stuff like that. I, I may even make a detailed floor, but have like this part be able to come up slightly like this so you can actually see it and just have it like secured to the table, not secured to the inside of the car. I'm thinking about that. But that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna look really cool. I think I'm gonna have some, maybe like some benches over here with people drinking and stuff like that. I think it'll look really cool. So that's gonna look really nice once it's all done there. All right, so I'll move on to some building upgrades now. The first building I have right here is a Lionel passenger station that I went ahead and converted to LEDs. I used the strip lights like you just saw with the signs and I think it looks really good and the way the lighting is I went ahead and wired it to this side back in here 
you can probably see my reflection with the finger but it's really pretty nice and I really like the way it turned out it really shows the decking that I did I went ahead and custom painted the decking to a brown color I did that a number of years ago and then recently I sanded it so you can kind of see the underlying color which is kind of like a brown black kind of color looks really really nice I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I had it in another location on the layout, but I went ahead and moved it for some reasons being clearance problems. I had some bigger passenger cars and bigger locomotives like SD70s, and it would, they were hitting it, so I went ahead and moved it here, and I think it looks really, really good. All right, next up I have this MTH passenger station here. And I went ahead and did some LED upgrades on this as well. And to better show you, I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights off. Okay, so the first thing I went ahead and did, like with all the other ones, is I went ahead and converted the interior lights to LEDs. So in the back of the building, which you can't see right now, I have a strip of LEDs that run the whole length of the back of the building. And it looks really, really good and it allows the light to really shine throughout the whole building, the back included, which is nice because a lot of these buildings, you know, you put the lights in either the middle or the front, and the front gets a lot of light, or the back doesn't, and so on and so on. So putting it in the back allows the back to get light and allows the front to get light. So it looks really good and it works really well. Now, the other thing I wanted to do was add under carriage lighting. So on the underside of the thing, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I have lights, there you go, I have lights under here, and I wanted to do that because the passenger station terminals that you see on the other side of the thing, like that one right there, it has lights on it, and the way they shine, they shine in this section, and the passenger station doesn't have that, so I went ahead and added it. Now I went ahead and added it to the back as well, so I'm going to take the camera off the tripod now and I'll show you about that. Alright, so go ahead and remove the roof real quick. You can see among the wiring, which I'll talk about in a second, but you can see that in there, here you go, there's the LED strip. It runs the whole length of the thing until it, you know, falls down over here which I'm going to get some tape to secure that because it doesn't want to stick. But that's the inside of the thing. Like I said, I'll talk about the wiring in just a second here. And then the underside of the thing. This is going to be a little harder to see, but there actually is the LEDs. Like I said, underneath the platform area here. And it just looks really, really good. Originally, I was just going to put a bulb above the door, right here and right here. But then I figured, you know what, I have the strips, why don't I try it? And I did, and this is the end result. Now the back, like I said, the back is lighting as well. And you can see that it just looks really, really good and has underside lighting as well. You can see, you know, you have a view like this, it just looks sick. So I do like the way the light shines on the porch here. That looks really good. I may add a strip to give it that effect here too. I don't know. We'll see. But it just looks really, really cool. It gives kind of the same effect that this does. And on this... It's the same kind of thing. The strips on this are actually in the front of the thing. They are right in here. So same kind of idea. Just looks really, really cool. So that's the passenger station lighting. I think it looks really, really good. And it adds a whole lot to the effect in this area here. So I'll go ahead and remove the roof again and I'll show you the wiring for it. Alright, so the wiring for this is actually it looks more intimidating than it really is. The reason why it looks so bad is because I went ahead and didn't wire it correctly on 
these over here, what I did was I basically daisy chained the LEDs. I have, like on this, I have a strip on the underside on this first floor. Then I have a strip on the second floor. Then I have a strip on the third floor. Then I have a strip on the inside and I just daisy chain, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven connections to this. And that way all the LEDs are connected. Well, on this, and the main reason why I didn't do it on here was because it was a royal pain to get these LEDs underneath this underside of this thing. It was really hard. I mean, some of these, the ones on the back, I actually didn't even use the adhesive back. I just taped them up there. They were just, it was just not happening. So that's why I wired it like this. So the two hots are hot in common for this and for this. And then the grounds are the same. And then these are the hot and common going to the power supply. And then the black and the white are the hot and common for the inside of the building here. And it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. Although it doesn't look very good in terms of the wiring on it. But you know what? What can you do? So nobody's ever going to see it. They're also never going to see that there's a terminal block under here. The other ones, obviously I didn't do a terminal block because I didn't have to. This one I did. And with it being up here, you'll never see this section of it because this part here is actually where the roof screws in. I obviously removed the screws so I can do this and detail it because eventually it's going to be detailed and stuff. But you'll never see this upstairs section here so that's that's why I did it like that so yeah it looks really good all right so I've got two things to show you up in this area over here and the first of which is these new cars the first one here is that Menards box truck that you see and I wasted no time with this one when I got it the first thing I did was actually put the lights in it and those I used the pre-wired LEDs that look like the incandescent bulbs and I think it looks really really good and the second one there is that black car I believe it's a Ford Explorer I'm pretty sure I'm not up on my car so sorry but I went ahead and added LEDs to that as well and it looks really cool I have it parked outside the hobby shop right now and it just looks really good alright so last thing over here is I had this model power house that I moved from another location on the layout. I wasn't happy with where it was before, so I moved it over here. And this I'm gonna have over here just because I can. And I'm gonna kinda make it like the owner owns all of the property over here. He owns the transfer dock and the hobby shop building. And this is his house. Figured, you know, why not build it over here. I know housing codes in real life, you would never see this because it's so close to the track. And it's also close to an operating noisy factory. But, you know, it's my railroad. I can do what I want. So that about takes care of updates. Oh, wait a minute. I've got one more thing. It's that I went ahead and wired in this Santa Fe caboose uh, shell. That's going to be used as like an office. So I think that's going to be pretty cool. So that takes care of updates on the layout. I've got two more things to show you. And then that's going to wrap it up for this video for today. All right, so last up in this room, I'll go ahead and show you this. Now, this is my control panel, and there's nothing really too special about it. I've had it for a long time. The only thing I really did was I moved it under the layout here, and the reason why I did that was because I wasn't ever using it for anything. I have the transformer right here, which is an MRC Pure Power Dual Transformer, which I did a review on a couple of months ago now, and you can check it out on my YouTube channel. The only thing I really did as far as control panel was I have my legacy base. You can't see it, but I have it up here. And they have a power strip over here, but it's nothing really too fancy. But I have my TIU over here. And one of the things I did was I went ahead and added these banana jacks to it. And it allowed the wiring to be much more clean and easy to use. And then... I went ahead and actually rewired the connections here. I used some super stretch wire that I bought off of Amazon 
and this stuff is really good and I have it running into here now eventually I'm going to put ring terminals on here but the big thing I did was I went ahead and added a strip of lights underneath this section right here and that way I can actually see the gauges on this because at night when I was running the trains you know with the lights off and just you know looking at the buildings and stuff like that or even if it was dark in the room you know I couldn't see the gauges so I went ahead and added lights under here and then you can see that zoom in on it you can actually read the gauges and it's really easy to see and all of that it just looks really really good and like I said it's especially nice at night so but that's all I have in here I got one more thing to show you out in the workbench and then that's gonna wrap it up for today all right so real quick out here I just want to show you guys this engine this is a Lionel Pennsylvania Reading Seashore E6 they had TMCC at one point, but I went ahead and removed it because I'm thinking about upgrading this engine to a PS3 so that way I can get the passenger station announcements. But anyway, what I wanted to show you on it was I went ahead and converted it to LEDs. Now I'll turn the headlight on in just a second so you guys can see it, but it's really bright. But what I did for the headlight was you can see the bulb right in there. It had a lens on it at one point and the way the lens was the LED actually the light period because it was bulbs before but the light was like back here like where my finger is and the lighting in it was just not that great you really couldn't see the light that well and you can also kind of barely see that it had lighted number boards but now with it gone You can tell that there's lighted number boards. There we go. And you can see the headlights nice and bright. I come back. You can see nice and bright headlight. Which that's really nice. And then I also converted the cab light to an LED as well. And you can see that right in there. And I'll go ahead and there you go so looks really good I'm really happy with the way it turned out now I had a cab a, a cab light a firebox light in there but I went ahead and removed it just because you really couldn't see it that well so I went ahead and removed that but looks really good next up I have to do the marker lights up on here which actually were LEDs but by mistake I went ahead and removed them and didn't realize they were LEDs so I canned them so I need to buy some new two millimeter ceramic LEDs for the markers up here and then I also want to do the pilot class lights on here so that's pretty cool now the tender for this is actually already all LED so there's no need to convert it unless the bulbs die which actually I have one of them die so I need to replace it but that's it. So, this engine looks really good. I lost the bell. I gotta buy another bell. Because I don't know where it went. But, that's it. So, like I said, I may end up converting this to PS3. Just because I really like the engine. And for the price I got it for, I'm not complaining. So, I mean, it ran fine. It worked fine. But, I don't know. I'm, I'm up in the air really on what to do. So... But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Matt, Chandler 9843. We'll catch you later.